Hi everyone, I'm Alfred. Hi, I'm Sarah. Welcome back to Half-Life. Guys, I had an amazing idea. What if we toss the um, boxes really close and we jump on them to get across? Hey, look at that. The only reason I want to, like, be like, guys, guys, I, I, I said something smart is because I rarely say things that are smart in video games, so this is a moment of trying trying <laughs> for me. Most of the times it's Alfred coming up with these Brainiac ideas. But yeah, do you have a jump button? Can you jump? Yeah, I've been jumping all day. Wow. There we go. Yeah, one of the things about this game is that it still has a lot of jank of its time. You know what's nice about Cena, like, and I guess you do see his face, but what's one thing that's kind of nice about a protagonist where you can't see their face is that, you know, you can make them kind of, like, look whatever you want them to look like. That's why they do it, you know. Oh. Oh. What? Here, I thought I was onto something. Well, it's a well understood psycholo ah! psychological concept. Well, here they give you Freeman's face. Yeah, but he never speaks for that reason. Link, who is one of the most recognizable goddamn protagonists ever, still never speaks. Yeah, fair enough. Oh my god. Figure it out? Yeah, I was an idiot. Ah, yes, the crate smashing room. <laughs> Sarah, you've worked for the government. I have too. Uh, and I, Aaron's not here, but let's, you know, psychically uh, uh, envision uh, her here. I'm about to work for the government. Not yet. Well, you work for the government. What is this room for? Uh, platforming. Yeah. <laughs> it's really unclear what the fuck this room is for. Just in case you need to get away from, like, an alien apocalypse. <laughs> you know, Ooh. it didn't help anyone, sadly enough. I mean, it helped Freeman. Yeah. But, wouldn't you know it, aliens around this corner. Ha! This corner. So, any questions about Half-Life while we're... Oh, yeah, Office Complex, level two. I have, a, I have a question for you, Alfie. Yeah. Okay, so I think we've had this discussion before, but it is, you know, things Hold on. change. Yeah. And Hold on. I don't. There he goes. All right, go on. The good old Paul Blart mall cop trick. Oh, shut up. He was being eaten by something. Paul Blart eats. <laughs> Blart's up there eating men. <laughs> Kevin, get down. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh, you're being struck. Look um, at how weird okay. the flashlight is, by the way. Yeah. It's just a very good product of its time flashlight, you know? Go on. Like I feel like I feel like if that had a sound effect, it would be like your slide whistle. <laughs> um So in a game Oh, I love sunflowers. In a game, is it more important for you to have story? Good oh wait, good story, good characters, or good uh uh, gameplay. What's most important? And if you had to get rid of one, which one would you get rid of? I would get rid of good characters because this game does not have good characters. But it does have good mm -hmm. gameplay and good story. I think if it's like a pick two of those, I think getting rid of characters is the best case. That is fair. Let me raise you an alternative. When mm -hmm. you have good gameplay, good story, but your characters are bad 
I think it automatically makes you a little apathetic to the game. Well, in 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 Freeman's case, like, oh yeah, look at this. Pizza bugs. So the cockroaches in this game have AI, and they are coded to run away from the light when you turn on your flashlight at them. Well, look at them. They're pizza bugs, babe. Yeah, they are. But but think about it. And I'm not talking about Freeman being a bad character, because he's not a bad character. He's just a blank slate. Yeah. Um, I'm talking about fucking characters that have, like, shit motivation. One of those characters that you're like, I don't care what happens to you. Yeah. For that reason, I think that good characters and good gameplay are the best for, are the most important things for me. That's fair. Because if you have a bad story, but the characters are really fun and the gameplay is fun, I'm still going to remember it fondly, you know? Yeah. I think you need something to keep a, p a person there unless your gameplay is completely, completely rock solid, you know? Yeah, like the thing is, is that there's there's one thing that I cannot give up, and that's good gameplay. Because I think if you have good story and good characters, just write I'm a gonna book. Be I, I'm gonna be upset that you didn't write a book. All these hallway crates. You... There's just so many fucking crates in this game. Oh yeah, here it is. Sarah, are you familiar how long with? Is, are you familiar how long with, is this game? Not very long. Are you familiar with Time to Crate? I'm sorry. Are you familiar with Time to Crate? Time to Crate? Yeah. No. It it is a it is a method of measuring games based on how long it takes you to find a crate. So what do barrels count? Uh, I think some people count them. I personally don't. Bear. Okay, so then... Dude, oh. dude, watch out. Oh, he's got his dude, airpods he's in. right behind you. <laughs> he's been bitch slaped. Ugh. I hate that their blood is cream. Yeah, a lot of the things from Zen have orange or yellowy blood. But so what what is the point of the crate crime thing? It's basically just a way to measure it. Hmm. Just how soon you see a crate. Kind of as a joke. <laughs> What's okay. the What, hey, the sink look at water's that. electrified look at too? <laughs> look at the look at the table, the periodic table. Yeah. You think there's any elements right now that weren't on it? I Do you think there's is. something that is on it that we don't have? Probably. What's on it? I don't know. I'm gonna look at the new periodic table. Is that Oh, it does. Yeah, you can just turn the lights out. That's clever. This fucking flashlight is so worthless. When was the periodic table updated? Like, look, look at this. Look at this. Either it works 20 feet away from you or one foot in front of you. There's no in between. Yeah, it, it, it is definitely a product of its time, and I can't... Fuck me. <laughs> I can't hate it. So if you fucking stand up too early and you automatically uncrouch whenever you walk into open headspace, um, this fan fucking kills you instantly. So do you think that fan is cooling off or making the, the room warmer? Because it depends on which way it's turning. I think that fan is making me have problems. When was the periodic table last? Oh, the periodic table was last updated in 2016. Wow. With four new chemical elements. Wow. It's It has... Uh,
Nehonium, Moscovium, Tennessine, and O. Oganison. Neat. There's your fun fact for the day. Thank you, Sarah. You're welcome, dear. Did you enjoy my fun facts? Of course. I like these crates. These are these are unique. Oh, is that graffiti on the wall up there? Do you see that? Uh, no. This is asbestos. Oh. It also says fun. valve on it. Oh. Because they made the game. Is it asbestos or is it like? Just the weird wall foam that every place has. I think it's it might be insulation. As as considering it might be insulation, but considering how shitty this place is, I wouldn't put it past them to have asbestos and everything. Look at asbestos, and I want to put it in my mouth. It looks like cotton candy. So uh, here we find a new a new problem. See what that is? It's a kill gun. Yeah. There's just a fucking turret in the ceiling that shoots anything that moves. Wait, you know Dragon's Beard? Uh, what? Like Dragon's Beard cotton candy? Uh, no. Oh, okay, hold on. Okay, we might Continue, you can together. keep talking. Boy, I am beat up. I am really just your man in the chair. Uh, these la this like episode, yeah. um, and I'm kind of a useless man in the chair because you're not asking me to do any of these things. I'm just doing it on my own. <laughs> but still. <laughs> but yeah, it's a way. Uh, Dragon's Beard is a way of making like cotton candy where you take like oh, look, hard look, look. sugar. Ooh ooh ooh! What? Here he goes. Oh, God. All right, got some more goodies now. You know, sometimes I, I'm, like, playing these things with you, and, like, I just forget that we're making a video, and I'm just, like... I forget that I have to be entertaining, and so I go off on your little tangents, like, trying to compare... Uh, dragon's beard cotton candy to asbestos yeah. and why I want to eat asbestos because of it. Lord help me. So these things are called vortigaunts. Do you notice anything unusual about their design? Um, well, they have lightning hands. Uh, they have holes inside of them. <laughs> I got another one. Um, they have green little, like, jewelry. Uh, this isn't jewelry. Oh, they're controlled? Yes. Uh, they're, at this time, they're not called Vortigaunts. Uh, I love the way you say jewelry. They are, their model in-game is actually alien underscore slave. Oh, shit. Yeah, so these... Yeah. These things are the slave soldiers of the other aliens. Wait, so the little aliens are controlling the big guys? No. Explain it to me again. There's a larger type of alien that uses head crabs, bull squids, and vortigaunts as troops. Huh. However, um... What do those guys look like? We will see them. However, Vortigaunts are sapiens and can't just be controlled like that. So, they gotta find other ways to control them. Sorry, you cut out a little bit for me. 
That's fine. I wasn't saying anything important. Big ol' slurpy tongue. Sarah, you know you're on the internet and you can hear... People will hear you say that, right? <laughs> this is what I was talking about. I just, like, forget that we're actually... I don't know. Doing things for the internet. I'm just like... I don't know. I'm, I just don't have a filter after a certain point. <laughs> Big ol' slurp tongue, says Sarah. God. The little slurpy boys. The little slurpy tongue. They just give you a little... Yeah, let's go. Are you saying things? No. Okay. Sorry, I'm reading a little bit about Half-Life 2, but I guess I should be more, um, present. You should also not spoil yourself for a game you're going to play. Spoiler pants, Sarah. Oh, at least I don't spoil other people. Mm, yeah. So what does the big alien race look like? Uh... Like a fetus with a head that opens like a blossom. Power. Oops, went out the wrong time. So, a lot of people just get their knickers in a twist because of uh, the guns in this game. Because Valve doesn't really know how guns work. You know what? That's okay. I would prefer less people know how guns work. Yeah. Um, it happens a little bit with Doom as well, like calling magazines clips or the opposite. Look at this. You can see the aliens eating as well. <laughs> what if he was rubbing his hands together like a fly? I watched all those TikToks with Erin, by the way. She liked the fly one. I like the fly one, too. You know what my dad told me when I sent him that TikTok? What? I told him I was like, I hate when flies do that little thing next to me. They really make me feel creeped out. What are they and scheming, like, oh. man? And you know what he told me? What? Oh, he says, oh, I always thought I was really polite and hygienic of them. <laughs> Sounds like your dad. Yeah, yeah, it does. <laughs> it was so sweet. I was like, oh, that's that's a really nice way of looking at that, Dad. So, um... Oh, boy. Mm, yes, yeah, a delicious feast all for me and all of my ten long fingers. So, in... So, I told you about how there are DLCs for this game. Wait, Alfred. What's up? Fresh coffee. Is that what it says? Oh. I don't know. Why don't I look? Fresh brewed. Fresh brewed. Wait, why do some of these have like? Oh, sorry. I confused these monsters for the for the the uh, Palpatine ones. What? I was gonna say, why don't these guys have stylish little green jewelry? Alright, here's the deep freeze. Did you hear me, Alfred? Yes, I did. Am I, just... I am I just confusing you? Yes. I apologize. You can always ask for clarification. I know. So, uh, the HEV suit will tell you what type what type of damage you're taking. Mm -hmm. So, like, if you get flamethrowered, it'll be like, "Hey, you're taking flamethrower. You're taking fire damage." These guys are my favorite. They're like cuttlefish dogs. Yeah, Cthulhu dog. They're oh. actually called bull squids. You know, I feel at this time that we've gotten so much Cthulhu myth and lore and, and stuff like that, that I no longer fear the unknown uh, like aspect of it, and like that's what it's all about. Yeah. Now I am only put off by the racism. 
Yeah. That was awesome. That was pretty fucking great. What happens if you kill these guys? Don't do it. It'll make me sad, please. Oh. He's just an old man. You're, you're totally free to kill them, you know. Allow me to treat that injury. But why would you? No. Did he just... Did he just inject you? Yeah. With what? Green. Green? Green. Oh. That's kinda nice. So if you look, um, I'll point it out next time I see a med kit, but the med kits also contain some mysterious green substance. Mmm. Plutonium. Possibly, possibly an herb of some kind. Mmm. Tasty. I like how there's two types of, of scientists. There's old and short haired bald or old and big haired bald. There's also black. Yeah, the one black guy. Uh oh yeah, isn't this a fucking platforming challenge? Yippee skip. Why do they have meat here? Because it's so large of a facility, they actually need frozen and fresh food. Did people just spend the night? I'm going to stay here. Uh, I don't know if they spend the night, but there's a cafeteria. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Like, it's a big-ass facility. But, like, they're hanging- like, the meat is hanging from hooks. Like, yeah, like in a fucking Rocky. Yeah, and that strikes me as, like, there's a whole fucking, like, place where they kill the animals themselves and eat them, and I'm just like, yeah. what? Do you think there's actually, like, government facilities where people, like, live on, like, in the facility itself? Yes. Hmm. I want to look into that. Oh, don't leave me for that long. What'd you say? I said don't leave me for that long. Oh, I would never. Let's take you with me. I don't want to live in the government. <laughs> what is that with this box? This is what physics were at this time, dear. <laughs> oh, I love it. Okay. I think that there's, like, packaged milk in that box. What do you think's in that box? Nutella. That's fair. Hey, remember when our friend in high school, like, had a Nutella addiction and asked, asked uh, his mom for a whole fucking thing of Nutella for Christmas? And then he got so sick of it, he gave the rest of it away to all of us a month later. And then he never ate Nutella again. Eh. I guess that's one way to curb an addiction. Overdosing, Sarah? <laughs> you can't overdose on Nutella, probably. I think it's called diabetes. I, mean, I don't think you can get diabetes that quick. What if it's type 3, very fast acting diabetes? You know, I have I have heard that's a type. Sarah, you really doesn't... you really can't go along with my bullshit because I'll believe you. Even though it's a lie that I made up, if you say that it's real, I believe you instantly. <laughs> you know, I didn't used to be that believable before I met you. You mean good at lying? Do you think I'm good at lying? I think the words that I say are lies. Wait, what? What? No, 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 I didn't, I didn't hear you. I couldn't, it, it like cut out for me. I think the words that I say are lies. When you're telling, wait, which words? I think we misunderstood each other's jokes at some point. Probably. Hey, that's okay. But Any yeah, more Half-Life you... queries to visit on us? 
No, not currently. I'm, I'm just watching you trying to platform. It's really hard, and I'm dumb. Oh, you aren't dumb, dear. You're the smartest boy I know. I... I'm the only boy you know. Oh, that's not true. I have no justification further. I just know a couple of boys. At least two. Can you have your flashlight and gun out at the same time? Yeah. Oh, nice. This isn't a Doom 3 scenario. The flashlight is, like, not its own thing. It's a little thing on the front of your suit. It's like Leon's little, little, uh, badge, badge light, you know? I fucking love bleached skulls in video games because it makes no fucking sense. Yeah. You know, and for that reason, whenever anyone has a yellowed skull in a video game, I get like ten times creeped out because it's like, ugh, you know your anatomy. Yeah. Your your bone bone anatomy. Bonology. Yeah, that's what I went to school for. My only regret uh, is that I have acute bonitis. Mm, I love the way your bones look, baby. Ugh. What is this part of the vent for, pray tell? What was that? That what was that? that was the tongue of the thing on the underside of this vent coming up all the way through the creature and through the vent. I hate it. Look, look. See that guy? Oh, he's, he's doing that blue thing with his tongue and it's going up all the way through the vent. He's trying to get you. He's He's hungry. trying he's trying to he's trying to give you a little with his little tongue. It's very unclear how barnacles survive. Cuz like they wait for food to come to them, right? Mm -hmm. How do they get there in the first place? Hey, you remember that little fact about barnacles? Shut up. What if that's not their tongue, babe? No. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is the time of night where I turn into a goblin. Jesus Christ. Ah, uh, you can't see it, but I got my full double chin now. I'm so ready for this. Ah, uh, nice shooting. Yeah. Hey, don't count on the cavalry finding us down here. Head for the surface. So everyone's now, being some... like, hey, get to the surface. What if I could? What if I could? I'm working on it, yeah. First generation Morlock right here. So how are you, Alfred, getting to the surface if you're in a situation like Mr. Freeman here? Uh, Sorry, Dr. Freeman. Yeah. There he is. He earned that PhD. Does he have the soup? Look. What? Does he have the soup? Remember, there was soup you mentioned. Microwave casserole. Oh. <laughs> and that was a different guy. <laughs> the soup was a different guy. The casserole was a different guy. Yes, there was never a soup. Whoa, that guy's so cool. Was uh was shooting part of their triathlon thing? Uh, it's included in one of the things that Gordon does. I don't know if it's in the triathlon, but I believe so. Is that what it's called? Is it triathlon or was it something else? Um, I forget if it's triathlon or decathlon. A decathlon is ten events. So like a triathlon, you bike, you run, and you swim. Obviously, it depends on what kind you're doing, but... Can we have a decathlon with our friends? I don't think you understand what our friends are capable of. I know. But yeah, like, imagine the kind of guy who is good enough, like, physically fit enough to, like, five miles on a bike, run a mile, 30 laps in a pool, you know? I bet we could do that. I probably could. I think you could, too. But then with a decathlon, you have another seven events in there. I oh think God. we oh definitely shit. both could. 
Oh, you broke your legs. Everyone always dies there. That's a well-known player killer. But let's talk about this for a moment, shall we? This is the service elevator. Or this is the service ladder for the elevator. When the elevator is broken, how do you get to this ladder? Well, you can clearly see that there's shadows of where the other part of the ladder used to be. Like, look up and down. There yes, used to but, be more ladder. Yes, but that doesn't change the fact that the ladder is on the other goddamn side of the elevator. There might be an open spot, like, below where the elevator is that you're supposed to climb up. Maybe, but I think the, I think the answer is that you're just supposed to fucking run it. Oh, this, this guy makes me sad. Ugh, poor guy. And that's why every day I regret that I have no upper body strength. Yeah, it's important. I have lower body strength like nobody's business, but like, upper body? Nah. You think I would have more because of like, what I'm lugging around all day, but like, that just gives me back pains. <sighs> We've got hostiles. This is a good chapter. Yeah, that's what I call him. <laughs> so how far would you say you're through the game right now? Uh, I think I'm on the third of 12 chapters. Oh, I, oh, I want a candy cane now. Why do you want a candy cane? Because, um... Okay, the there's like white and red little stripes over there. Yeah, that. Telling you, this sweet craving is out of this world. Yeah. Do you like candy canes, Alfred? They're okay. Gonna do if, a hard you get some, if you get some hot cocoa and then stir your candy cane in it, you get little little minty little cocoa. Yeah. Hey, check this out. Not hurt lasers. Yeah, they just tell the they just tell the deadly deadly machine gun where you are. I mean, the lasers themselves. I guess. Hey, are lasers that hurt you like a real thing? Yeah. But like like that, you know. What do you mean like that? Like. They won't cut through you like in Star Wars, but they can severely burn you. But like, do they have them like that? That really just feels like a, a use of energy that's not efficient, you know? Um, I mean, if like, you're gonna you cut know, something from really far away, what else could you do? Well, I mean, like, that costs so much power to be running a laser, not this one in particular, but think of a laser that could actually hurt and burn you. It would cost a lot of money to keep that running. I mean, if you just kept it running all day, that was stupid. Okay, you're figuring it out. Yeah. That's what I like about Half-Life. You have puzzles that you can do. Have you ever been in an escape room? What's up? Did you hear me? No, you have to say that again. You were speaking over a shotgun. Uh, have you ever been in an escape room? In an escape room. Uh, yes. I remember, um, did you ever have to go through, like, fake lasers? Uh, no, but I know people who have. Uh, a couple years ago, when we were at our last anime convention, I went to an escape room with a couple of friends. And one of my current friends. And they had lasers in it and i was like oh my fucking god it's my time to shine Check and this out. <laughs> and like none of them knew how to handle it because they were like trying to like walk like in between the lasers and i was like i fucking got this and i army crawled the entire way there <laughs> army crawling is a like, good skill that more people should have and like on my hands and like 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 on my belly like a snake i crawled and there was no shame, like, like I know it's the floor and people probably walked all over it, but I was like, listen, this is my time to shine. I've been trained for this. But yeah, you're totally right. Army calling needs to be a skill more people have. So 
So um, I kind of I kind of just like hey. chatted past these because I'm a cool guy. But check it out. Oh, nice. Laser trip mines. Did you hear me though? Uh, yes. Okay, I didn't know if shotgun covered me up or not. Shotgun coon. Thank you for agreeing with my correct opinion. Yes. And thank you for thanking me for agreeing with your correct opinion. Alright, that's enough out of you. <laughs> nah, you love when, you love when I agree with you. I do. Oh, big shoot bang. It is, it's shoot bang time. You really face fuck that, huh? I I don't know the correct way to deal with it. Besides face fucking. <laughs> You're just like walking across that laser for fun now. Yeah. Boing. It's like, oh, I felt I think I felt an itch on my back. Like compared to the portal turrets. Can you play portal, sir? Yeah, I played Portal. I haven't finished Portal, but I played Portal. You haven't finished Portal? No, I mean, but I finished, like, I watched a playthrough of it, a silent uh. playthrough. I, I think a friend had the exact same, like, response of, like, oh, you never saw Portal, you never played hard Portal, and then that became, like, our Saturday, you know? Yeah. Good friends. Well, it's so good, and it's, like, two hours. Ooh, you are on 12% health, my friend. It's true. Luckily, I can just reload this save and do it all over again. Oh boy, I'm getting sleepy. Well, stop it. Oh, sorry. It's like, uh, fuck, it's almost 4 a.m. Yeah. Are you trying to curse less on your channel? Yeah. Mm. So should I hold off on the uh, the no no words? No, you are free to say all the fuck words you want. Ah, oh, thank you. <laughs> I got the turret to shoot those explosive bay rounds. You know, could you get the shoot bangs to shoot the guy for you? Uh, yes, you can. It just requires, uh, planning. Ah. That's a good color of green. Olive drab, baby. Now, would you call it olive drab, or would you say it's army green? I mean, that's what the army uses. Oh, is it the same color? Yeah. The army uses olive drab. I think I might call it olive drab now, because I don't really... Um, support our army, so. I mean, to be honest, I call it that because that's what Naked Snake's camouflage is called in Metal Gear Solid 3. You're totally right. By the way, when they say fucking slippery floor, check this out. Damn, yeah, that's really slippery. Yep. One can easily oh. slip into this open fucking elevator shaft, which is here for some reason. You know, I don't think I've ever encountered a floor in my day-to-day -day that was that slippery. Especially, maybe it just becomes more slippery when it's next to an open elevator shaft. It's like the event horizon of a black hole. It starts like, sucking you more, ever, you know? Are you ever closer? There he is, there he is! Are you there he is. Are you ever, like, closer to, like, a point of danger and, like, you feel like you're inclined to head towards it? Yeah, that's a French thing. Like, okay. It's called the call when of I'm the riding... void. Well, no, no, no. When I'm, like, riding my bike, I will, like, be almost having a collision or I'll be, like, by a person and my brain is like, ah, yes, I will move a little bit out of the way to give this person adequate room. And my... My bike is like, I want to be right up into this person's face. I'm like, no, Sarah, that is how you call damage. 
Man, that anyway, I don't take these guys out. I don't think that's the call of the void. I think that's just me not having coordination. I mean that too. So in this version of the textures and models, you can't see it, but uh, the first aid stations also contain green. Ah, very good. Uh, and we missed G-Man this time around, but that's okay. So why is he called G-Man? It's short for government man, government agent. It's a slang term for man who works for the government, and that appears to be what he does. Oh, check it out, check it out. The United States Army's finally here to help us. This is when they, like, stop pretending that they want you to get out. Yeah. That was a grenade he just dropped into my lap. At least they came with presents. So you play as this guy in, um... In the first DLC. That one specifically? Uh, no. But he has the same model. This model is called Adrian. So what are his orders? Kill... Just don't let it... Kill any survivors. Jesus fucking Christ. Yep. All right. But we actually so, managed to save this guy, which normally doesn't happen. Oh, well, that's pleasant. Good job, Alfie. One less. Um, which reminds me, it's probably a good time to cut the episode. Ooh, okay. Emergency. Do you want to do the outro again? Yes. Knock yourself out. I've been Sarah. I've been Alfred. Bye. This has been Half-Life. Oh, man, I always mess those up. It's okay. You're cute. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs>